might have a milkshake coming back up. <laughs> That's it for Caden Alfin and a good start for Marshall Luke. Oh, off speed, and that one is into left field. And Dylan Bloom, a sliding catch. And a boy, the Bloomster coming out of nowhere to slide on the knees and make the play. Ball's just dying out there in the outfield. Wind blowing in here again tonight. Just a little bit of a jam shot. Dylan Bloom coming in to two knee slide. Don't see that too often. Nice play, Dylan. Tracking it all the way in. Watch those, Pat. Got a nickname of 380. And that one's the other way. How about that? Five hits now and eight at bats for Reese Roussel. And that looked professional. Yeah, nice job. 380 and another teammate's mom picked up on it. That one has popped up. It's deep to left. Dylan Bloom going back and it's over his head. He stopped and so does Marshall Luke have to stop because Roussel hesitated, wondering if Bloom was going to catch it. Now we got second and third. Yeah, for some of these kids, they just haven't played under the lights, and it's a little bit different when you get out there. The flight's a little different. Dylan Blue out in left field, and it looks like he has a beat on it, and ball just kind of keeps on carrying. Right over the two count to the little nugget, Connor Parrott. Center field fairly deep. Connor Alfin catches it. Here comes your throw home. It's up the line, and it's 1 nothing on the sacrifice fly from Connor Parrott to Clayton Reese Roussel. Good job by make New York a little better off speed pitch into the gap and that's going to get down in front of Bloom it scores Luke Berry into second he's got a double two nothing Louisiana nice job staying on that breaking pitch and he can run fun to watch him run the bases breaking pitch down in the zone just throws the hands stays through it very nice look at that head super still exactly what you want to do with that off speed pitch pull it a little bit through that left left center gap and watch him run i mean he's got burners just saw and he's there already the ball huh kyle a lot of times and that was that was a pitch he had thrown that time good piece left on left the lap goes up the middle he gets a hit and bury it home safe at home Close play, what a throw from Caden Alfin. Really close play at home and probably worth a look. Rossi, you were punching him out up here. Oh man, that was bang, bang. I was not expecting it to be that close. Great throw by Caden, gets behind the baseball. Nice job to catch a Wyatt Myers backing up, getting that foot down right in front of home plate. Oh, Whoa. bang, bang, <laughs> baby. We got to replay this one. What a play, catch and throw. I mean, that's textbook by Wyatt Myers yes, at, at home plate. He didn't block the plate with his body, which is like, oh, goodness, let's, please don't <laughs> let him get hurt. <laughs> up the middle, the Ooh. dive, and Derek Delat couldn't come up with it. Brett Bittner is aboard in the first hit for Minnesota. Left-handed hitter not quite getting that call tonight. 2-2. Two, two. Got that one. Strike three, another one. He picks up his third strikeout of the night. They will strand two. Check that fourth strikeout for Marshall Luke. Fastball works now. Watch the eyes at front foot hit. Lands bent and straightens all the way out. Throws right over the top of it. Three scoreless for Marshall Luke so far. Three and two to Roussel. Rips that one into the gap and right. Man, does he keep pounding the ball. He may not stop at second, but he does. How good has Reese Roussel been? He is six for nine at the Little League World Series. And Jackson Knutson appreciates a good hitter when he sees him. He gives him a high five for that effort. Really patient early on the count. Gets back in it. Just absolute laces this fastball middle down right into his swing. It's so pretty. He just has got that smooth. These dudes in the first inning. Now a double. And a little blooper. Nice play by Maddie Frecking as she drifted back onto the outfield grass. Hi girl. Great footwork. You sometimes you get the kids stop moving their feet. Maddie gets back, gets that right side turned backwards and shuffles back. Great footwork. Look how look how she moves her feet. That is hard to do. That is an athletic body. Nice play. One, two, ground ball, second base. I believe that's what the third base coach asked for, and it's exactly what he got. 
Whatever it takes to get the run in. And he was unable to get the out. And that's literally what Scott Frazier said. Like she had a thought maybe to come home yeah. and just sped up a little bit on her. You know that base runner's there and wasn't an immediate break, but a little bit late right there. Ball was spinning when came up towards Maddie, but you know the mindset's kind of, the mindset is kind of going both ways. A little peek right there over to third base just to see where the base runner was, and then that spin just kind of crawled all the way up. The Outside ball four. That'll bring the run in on the walk. And Louisiana adds to its lead. Frustration for Tim in Minnesota. On TV again. Oh, a little late on that one. The 41st pitch of the inning from Tim. They leave him loaded. And now calls Georgia home saw Billy at a baseball major league game this year. That's ripped. Drew Law is aboard. Welcome to the game, Drew uh, William Andrade. Had a girl. Second base, maybe two. Delat to Wiltz. Oh. To the first, they turn it. Stan Wiltz showing his cannon off. And a 4 6 3 double play. Jack Brandle, though, has planted himself on first base. You guys talked about. Stan Wiltz coming across the bag right here on fire. Nice feed. Just lets it eat. Good transfer. Nice strong throw. Let's take a look. Oh wow, he's out. He's out. So he's important out. <laughs> to hit the front of the bag yeah. when your base yeah. run. He would have been safe if he hits the front of the bag. That's one of those things we don't talk about too much. Keep your eye on that front part of the bag. He would have been safe easy. Oh, that's such a good point. From a safety standpoint, it's safer too. You know, that backside of the bag is where guys can get hurt. But yeah, it's quicker and it's safer. I thought he was safe when we went through it the first time, but I think that call is going to be upheld. Double play. Wow. Stan Wilts and Derek to line up. That ball is hammered and it's tailing to the corner and it's going to get down. Roussel will hit second, go to third. Luke is in with another double. And they are real hard to get out tonight. His second double of the night. And between them, they are five for six. You said it, Carl. This part of the lineup's tough, and they can run the bases. Nice job here. Just nice, easy swing from Luke. Putting it in the right spot down that left field line. And Reese Roussel can absolutely fly around the bases. Four strides, it feels like they take. Uh -oh. Connor Parrish swinging a drive deep to left field. It gets down, hits the wall. Roussel and Luke are in. Parrish continues the parade. And they add two more to lead it seven to nothing. That's quick. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, the lefty goes the other way on a pitch. It's off the plate and a double out of line in this one. Fastball elevated inner half. That's a really good approach right there. Short hops a wall out in left field. Good base runner, too. Reese Roussel was halfway to third base. The minute that ball hit, he's going to score easy, and it's two RBIs for Connor Parrott. All four. It's always tough, Kyle. You know better than I do. But coming into the game, bases loaded, having to throw strikes, a lot of pressure. So we'll update you on all the Major League Baseball action. Don't go anywhere after this one. It goes to the backstop, and we have a play at the plate. The dive is not in time, and the run scores as Gavin Berry touches home to make it 9 nothing. Got to love the effort from Wyatt Myers. Tough pitch there to glove and block, but ball bounces back to him hard. And watch this dive as all his body all his might dive into the corner of that plate just can't it's a hit and it's the game as Ryan Darris single brings in the tenth run in Derek Delat and Louisiana will win this one and live on That'll do it for Maddie Frecking and the rest of the team from Coon Rapids and over American Little League and end their summer of championship dreams. They'll have one more game here. It became an easy group to really like.
from their whole attitude and approach to the Bloom story. And again, we wish nothing but the best to Greg and Jen, and Dylan, and the rest of the kids from Minnesota on everything that they deal with in the future.